August 11, St. Philomena. Little was known about the life of St. Philomena. However, it is believed that she was a Greek princess who became a virgin martyr and died at 13 years old. Remains of a young lady were discovered in May of 1802 in the catacombs of Priscilla with three titles reading, Peace be to you, Philomena. St. Philomena herself related the story of her life and martyrdom to different persons in private revelations. The very same facts were given by the saint to a nun, a priest, and an artisan in different places and dates. The story goes that St. Philomena was a Greek princess, the only daughter of a minor Grecian king married to a noble with, with noble blood. The couple had no children and prayed to the idols for a child. A a doctor of their court, a Christian Roman named Publius, advised them to be baptized in the religion of Jesus Christ and pray to the true God for a child. They consented and converted along with other members of their court. A year later, the saint was born and called Lumina, light, because she was born in the light of the Catholic faith. She was affectionately called Philomena, which means daughter of the light, the light of Christ that dwelt in her soul when she was baptized. She received the Holy Eucharist when she was five, and when she was eleven, she made a vow of consecration to our Lord. In her thirteenth year, the emperor Diocletian initiated a war against her father's small kingdom. Accompanied by his wife, and daughter whom he could not bear to leave his side, he went to Rome to meet with the emperor and to plead with him to cease the war. Diocletian could not keep his gaze from Philomena. After her father had pleaded his case, the emperor told him he would not need to worry about the war if he would just give his daughter to him as his wife. The parents accepted, but Philomena refused, saying God was her father in heaven, her mother. When her parents' pleas could not persuade her to change her mind, Diocletian ordered that she be thrown in a dungeon and chained hand and foot as repository for her refusal. Every day he visited the dungeon to renew his offer to the beautiful princess. On the 36th day, Our Lady appeared to her with the divine infant and told the young girl that she would be released after three more days. Then Our Lady told her she would be exposed to a great battle of atrocious torments for the sake of my son. She promised to be her helper and along with the archangel Gabriel so that she would be victorious. In fact, three days later, Philomena was released, and the next day Diocletian ordered her to be bound to a pillar, scourged, and sent back to prison to die. Two angels appeared in the cell and anointed her with oils that healed her. The tyrant, furious upon seeing her more beautiful than ever, ordered an iron hook be anchored to her and tied around her neck, and that she be thrown into the Tiber. Our Lord sent two angels who cut the rope with four witnesses, and the anchor sunk into the Tiber without Philomena. Now the emperor ordained that she be shot with arrows. Wounded, she was returned to prison, where again the angels healed her. Enraged, the emperor ordered her shot through with burning arrows until she was dead. But the arrows sent speeding from the bows toward her body turned back against the archers, killing six of them. Finally, Diocletian ordered her to be beheaded, and so her soul fled earth, where she could have had all the earthly wealth and glory as the emperor's wife, and escaped to heaven to receive the more glorious crown of martyrdom and virginity. And here you have the explanation for the symbols of the anchor, the arrow, and the lily found at her tomb and presented often in her pictures. It is said that you will find when you pray to St. Philomena that she establishes a wonderful relationship with you, and in a short time you can discern her personality. A young girl, she likes to play the way she did with the bishop kicking his leg. She likes to smile. At the same time, she had a great firmness of will. She would not bend in her fidelity to remain a spouse of our Lord and not some earthly king. Thus she brings to your soul the seriousness of a saint and the joviality of an amicable young girl. These facets of her personality make her extremely accessible and friendly. After her relics were found and enshrined, many miracles were attributed to her, and the miracle of Mugnano, where Venerable Pauline was cured of a severe heart issue overnight, were all attributed to St. Philomena. Many saints began to venerate Philomena and attributing miracles in their lives to the young martyr, including St. John Marie Vianney, the cure of ours, and Peter Louis Marie Chanel. She was canonized in the year 1837 and is the patron saint of infants, babies, and youth. She is often depicted in her youth with a flower crown, a palm of martyrdom, arrows, or an anchor. Her feast day is celebrated on August 11th.